The dream has always been clear. Have AI employees that can act just like a real human would. You give them a task in plain English and they handle all of it, using the computer and navigating the web all on their own. Well, the Linea 3.0, this dream is now one huge step closer to becoming a reality. If you watched any of our previous videos or used Lindy before, you'll already know how easy it is to set up complex automations with our tool. But now we've taken it to the next step. You can literally describe your idea in a few sentences and Lindy will build out the entire automation for you all on its own. Plus, with the new autopilot feature, your Lindy agents now get access to their own computer. So any repetitive task that you could do on your computer and on the web, Lindy can now do as well. So in this video, let me walk you through the new powerful features of Lindy 3.0 so that you can start building your own AI employees today. So when getting started with Lindy, this is the new screen that you'll be greeted with. Here we can describe the agent that we want built or a task that we want automated in plain English and Lindy will actually start building it for us. And if you scroll down, you can see some of the templates that you can get started with. These sections have all been updated as well. So now it's easier to actually browse through the categories. So here I gave it a prompt. I said, I'd like to create a content repurpose automation where I provide a YouTube script and it gets rewritten into Twitter and LinkedIn. LinkedIn posts. These are then put into a Google Doc. So let's send it through. So Lindy will now try to understand what we're trying to build and will guide us through the automation. So I'm going to click on build agent. And here we'll ask us a few questions to get more clarity on what we're trying to build. It asked me how we'll actually provide the YouTube transcript. It asked me a bit more detail on the Google Doc and it asked me a little bit more detail on the actual posts. So I just told it how I will provide the transcript, what I'd like to do about the docs. So I'd like to have a new doc created for each session. And I just told it how the posts should be optimized. And here provide us the, the summary for our automation that we're trying to build just to make sure all the details before the actual building begins. So I just confirmed all of this. And now you can actually see it getting built step by step. So as it's building, you can actually keep track of what it's doing and actually see the preview once the steps have been put into place. So our automation has been complete. We've got a few different steps here, starting with the trigger. The trigger is us sending a message to Lindy to actually trigger this automation. As you could see, the fields on the right here have actually been filled out by Lindy already. So we don't even have to think about the greeting message of the conversation starter, etc. Then we have the other steps, so generating the Twitter post. Once again, the prompt has already been taken care of by Lindy. So this will actually take our transcript and turn it into a Twitter post. Same here for the LinkedIn post. And then here we have the Google Doc as well. So I'll create a Google Doc in my Google Drive with the outputs from these previous steps. So this prompt was also done by Lindy as well, and it automatically linked to the outputs from these previous ones. And then lastly, I just added this send message step myself. Basically just wanted to message back the user, the, the URL the, of the doc that's been created. So I'm just going to tell it that. So message the user back with the Google Doc. And then I'm going to link the URL from the Google Doc. So I'm going to click on deploy to actually save this. And I'm going to test it out by going to tasks and then prompting it did the transcript here. So I just sent it through a transcript on the concept known as gun to the head marketing. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's rewritten the transcript into posts and let's actually go to the Google Doc and see them there. Okay, and here we have the Google Doc, did the proper name, did the date, did the time. We have a Twitter post, as you can see, the length is optimized for Twitter. And then we have a large LinkedIn post. So there you have it, with one prompt, we built out an automation that can repurpose our content. Now, this one was really, really simple. So let's actually build something a little bit more complicated than this so that you can actually see the power of Lindy. I'm gonna go back to the main menu and start from here again. So I just told it to build out an AI lead gen automation that will take the link that I sent, scrape it for different speakers involved, and add them to a Google Sheet. And then once all the speakers have been added and reach those leads by doing additional research on them via the web. And then just give it a little more information saying that automation should be limited to just five leads per session. And there before I said, add all of the leads to a Google Sheet, I decided to clarify it a bit more and I said to create a new Google Sheet and then add the leads to that new Google Sheet. So let's see what happens. Okay, let's click build agent. Okay, it thought through what we're trying to do, summarized it here, and then asked us a few more questions. So let's respond to these questions. So one, it asked me, how will you provide the links to the automation? So I told it I will send them via conversation trigger. A two, speaker notification, what type of event sessions are this typically for? I'll just say conferences. Google Sheet Setup. Should the automation create a new sheet for each session? Create entirely new spreadsheet for each session? Do you have a preferred naming convention for the sheet? So three, I'll just say entirely new spreadsheet. 
if you wanted to, there you can define actually what you should create the Google Sheet as. So like the different columns, rows, etc. And lead enrichment, what specific information should be researched? So let's say their position and recent activities, as well as contact info when possible. And five, how would you like to be notified? So I'll say send a message back in the Lindy chat. Once again, it will confirm what we're trying to do. Okay, it looks like our automation has been built out. Let's actually check it out. So as you can see, we've got a starting message trigger again. Here we have extract web page contact with web scraping AI. I don't think necessary to use that one. I think we can just go to perform action. Then we can go to Lindy. Then we can go to web browser and then just extract web page text. Here it added an AI agent to identify the speakers. So this is analyze, scrape the web page content and identify the speakers from the conference, extract their names, titles, etc. format as a structured list. And then for the next step, it added the Google sheet, did all of the fields once again filled in here. It defined all of the rows, which is amazing, but it looks like it just stopped at the spreadsheet and didn't actually add the web scraping functionality, which is okay. But going back for the chat, it actually asked me to connect my web scraping AI for continuing further and we removed that step. So let's actually tell Lindy that um, I've removed the web scraping AI and added the Lindy extract web page text instead. Okay, and now Lindy is updating our automation with this new step in mind. So after just one or two minutes, Lini actually built out the functionality to enrich our leads. The reason it didn't do that before is because we didn't actually connect our web scraping AI and then we proceeded to do other things. So if it would have connected it, it would have continued building. But this was, I think, a great example of how to actually troubleshoot your automations. Lindy will not always get them right from the first try. And that's okay because you can just keep chatting to the agent builder to, to include the functionality that you need or fix any of the errors that you might have. So let's actually look for the steps. We have the spreadsheet here. Then we have the new research speaker detail steps that it added. So we'll actually, based on the identified speakers, create search queries and then search for them and then process and add speakers. So using the identified speakers to populate the Google spreadsheet, add the information, etc. This is okay, but not, not exactly what I prompted for. I'm gonna take a screenshot of these two steps. I added that screenshot back to Lindy. So I'm just gonna tell it that I don't want to use the Google search and I don't want to use the agent currently set up for lead enrichment. So instead I would like to use Lindy computer functionality for the enrichment. Then I'm gonna send that through. Okay, it understood that we want to replace these and it will begin doing so. Okay, and it updated the steps exactly as I wanted to. So here it adds this computer session and then the agent will then use the computer and the Google Sheet functionality to perform our task. Okay, so I just give it a link to a no-code conference so that we can test it out. And we can actually see our automation being done as it is being completed. So the web page text has been extracted. Now the agent is identifying the speakers. Okay, speakers have been identified, spreadsheet has been created, and now it's starting the computer session, which is where the fun begins. I'm actually gonna go to the tasks and I'm gonna go here so that I can actually see the computer session. I'm gonna give it a second. And now we can see the computer actually booting up. How cool is this? And here we can actually watch over the agent doing the tasks. As you can see, it actually run into an issue here where it doesn't have access to the Google Sheet provided. So it's actually smart enough to figure it out by itself. And instead it decided that it will just use the Google Sheet API instead. Pretty cool, right? By the way, you can actually log into different accounts like your social media accounts, your email accounts, whatever different accounts that you might use at your work so that Lindy can actually access them. I will show you how to do that in a second later. But here, if you wanted to, you can actually see how it's doing the, the work. And if you wanted to, you can actually click and take control. So here it's been individually entering each one of the speakers that it's found, going to the different links on them and extracting the information. So it's gonna take some time because we have five different leads. So I'm just gonna stop the automation here. So I've gone to the spreadsheet that it created. And as you could see, it's working perfectly. So it filled in the names, it filled in the titles, the companies. It wasn't able to find the emails yet but that's okay we could always like add another step and tell it to go through our spreadsheet 
find the leads where emails have not been found and do further research on the following websites or we could have that are able to find the emails we have the link here the, the linkedin and then we have all of the different notes that was all from just a single prompt and a few small tweaks really powerful stuff and i hope you can see where this is going if there are any repetitive tasks that you do on your computer there's no reason why you shouldn't try to automate it at lindy because as you can see you can use the web exactly the same way as you would now if you actually need to configure any extra logins we can do it from here like we have the start the computer session task here i'm gonna click on configure it's gonna boot up our computer as you could see we are in the configuration mode so if you want to we can always add our different email accounts we can always log into our linkedin account youtube accounts whatever your agent might need you can log into the socials so that it's able to use them the process is exactly the same as logging in on your computer you're just logging in for the ai beforehand all of these logins are saved so you don't have to set them up every single time and then once you're done with your configuration you just press finish and if you click on the computer here you can actually change to a different computer setup that you might already have you can add a new computer or you can put it into incognito so that whatever it does is not influenced by your previous actions and there's no logins etc another new feature that was added in lindy 3.0 is actually the functionality to share your automations with your other team members to do that you can just click on the share button on the top and then add any members that you'd like you can then here on the right change whether there should be a user or editors you can also make it available as a template here okay but before we wrap up let's quickly build one more automation from scratch so that you understand all of the different steps that are involved I'm gonna click on the new agent in the top right. Here, I'm gonna click start from scratch. Well, this one, what I'm gonna build is an AI agent that scrapes for my email every morning, takes any invoices that it finds and uploads them to a Google Sheet. So for the trigger, I'm gonna click on by Lindy. I'm gonna click on timer, recurring schedule. So let's say, so I'm gonna say every day at 9 a.m. Then let's do action. We're gonna go by Lindy, Lindy computer, start computer. Let's click on configure. Okay, so I'm gonna log into my account. Okay, I'm gonna enter my password, click next, and then just verify on my phone. Okay, and that's it, my account is now logged in. Let's make sure that Gmail works. Okay, that works fine, I'm gonna click on finish. Perfect, now we have the agent here that actually has the Lindy functionality. So here I just give it a prompt. I told it to go to Gmail and look for any new emails that are invoices and add the information from them to a Google Sheet on my account named Lindy Invoices. Okay, so I started a test, so I don't have to wait for 9 a.m. for it to work. As you can see, it's starting up the computer. Now we can see the screen of our computer. As you can see, it went to Gmail. Uh-oh. However, it's logged into a wrong account. So let's log it into the correct account. Okay, and now let's let it get back to work. Okay, it understood that I actually interrupted it to connect to a correct account. Okay, you could actually see it open up one of the invoices to get the information from it. As you could see, it extracted that data. Okay, so it will take quite some time for it to go through the invoices. So I just interrupted the search and I basically told it to stop the search and upload the data that I extracted from one of the invoices already. Okay, and here we can see the spreadsheet, the other invoice that has been added. We've got the invoice number, We've got the invoice number, the company name, the invoice date, due date, amount, and the description. Okay, perfect. So now I can have this on recurring schedule every day or every week, as often as I need to, to extract all of the invoices and put them automatically here in the spreadsheet. Now, I hope from all of this, you saw the power of Lindy 3.0. In just one prompt, Lindy can now build out the automations for you. It is truly the easiest way to build out AI agents and AI automations. And the, the new autopilot feature, Lindy can now use the browser the same way as you would. So you can automate tasks across the entire web. And if you wanna start building up your own AI automations as well as AI employees, click the link in the description to check out Lindy. I'll see you all in the next video.